We are heading to the trolley, but then we will end up at Dollywood. Here we go, we are inside of Dollywood. We came in through the side resort entrance. Look, they have an Emporium. Gonna head into the sweet shop over here. You guys know I love a nice sweet shop. Get some ice cream or something. The best breakfast. Is this all saltwater taffy? All kinds of different candies. Ooh, what is this? It's like a, like a candy gel. Oh my goodness. This is way too tempting. Holy macaroni. Look at how delicious. Those are pretzels. I know you can't really tell because they just like globs, but those are pretzels. Yum. Oh, and then some fudge. Ooh, candied apples. Oh my goodness gracious, more fudge. He's just strolling around playing the banjo. They're heading towards their stage. This would be where the Smoky Mountain String Band is gonna play. It's one thing I think happens often at Dollywood is a lot of live music. This is the Dolly section of the park. You got Dolly's Closet, her style, your size. Chasing rainbows. Look, there's Dolly's Home on Wheels. You can tour Dolly's tour bus. There's a sensory friendly room here. If anybody has any sensory issues and needs to escape, this is where they got it. It's over here in the Dolly section. Kind of right here in My People, My Music. Those are her family. Her family comes here and performs. Oh, okay, so this Chasing Rainbows is the Dolly Parton story. Ooh, a 53 Chevy Bel Air. Cass Walker's Blue Band Coffee Shop. Sevierville Savings and Loan. Easy way, five and dime. I know that this is a small thing, but this is brilliant. They're little like bench seats on the little brick wall because people would probably just pull up here and sit on the brick wall. So they added actual benches and little tables. There's a Dreamland drive-in show. This looks really neat. And there's a little drive-in over here. Hi Octane. This is the gift shop for Lightning Rod, which is their newest coaster here. Well, up until Wildwood Grove opens in the next week or so. Lightning Rod is a launching wooden coaster. I like that this is a Dippin' Dots Airstream being towed by a 55 Ford Custom Line. There's a Model A. Oh no, Lightning Rod is temporarily closed. It does say temporarily closed, not necessarily closed for the day. So we're hoping to get on it today. Oh, there's a Corvette up there too. You guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I like old cars. Another 55. Yeah, a little rumble seat in the back too. Look at lightning rod in the back back there. Also, there's a little like motor speedway here. How much fun is that? They have fruity pebble funnel cakes. This is a new addition this year, they told us. Looks good. They told us that Market Square here used to be the front entrance to Dollywood and then they expanded out in that direction. Dollywood duck walking through the streets. I got really confused because I was like, what is an Aunt Granny? And then we found out that because Dolly doesn't have any kids of her own, all of her nieces and nephews call her Aunt Granny. This is a replica of Dolly's childhood home. And I guess her brother built it and her mother decorated it. Wow. And then there's, in loving memory of my parents, Lee and Avi Lee. In memory of Dorothy Joe Owens, in memory of Henry Joe Owens. So we make our own blown glass? Well, I think we probably pick stuff out and they blow it for us. Oh no, this kid's trying to stop this dog from chasing this cat. Here's the grist mill, and this is where we are supposed to come to get some cinnamon bread, because everybody has told us to come and try the cinnamon bread. I think we're doing it. We're going in. Look at the size of these cookies, and then look. There's like a whoopie pie down here too. Wow. We're gonna get some of that bread. We got the cinnamon bread. We also got apple butter and icing to try it with both. And I don't think that we're gonna eat this entire thing, but every single person that we've talked to is like, you're gonna eat the entire thing. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, you ready? Yes. I'm gonna try it just plain first. Okay. Then we'll do the different dippings. I like that idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You ever had cinnamon toast? Yeah. That's what this tastes like. Are you gonna let me like try it? Cinnamon sugar toast? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, there's plenty. Well, <laughs> but we have to use some for, oh geez. Oh no, what kind of bug is that? Mm. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Um, we have to save some for the apple butter and some for the icing. Yeah, I think we'll have enough. I don't know. Should I try that right now or should you try it? I want to try some. Okay. Well, Oh yeah. That's good, right? Wow. 
super sugary. That has this really awesome like glaze on the outside and then the inside is really soft and fluffy and it's not super cinnamony on the inside. Yeah. So it's such a nice like balance. It's like a fluffier cinnamon roll. Yeah, it's not so sweet. Like I thought it was gonna be too sweet. Um, it's pretty it's sweet though. Really, but it's not as sweet as like the inside has that nice, Yeah. just kind of a, I don't know, this is really good. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I think we will eat this whole thing. Oh yeah. What are you doing? You doing apple butter now? I'm gonna try it with the apple butter. I already tried it with the apple butter. Um, it tastes kind of like a, like a um, condensed applesauce kind of. Yeah. It's the the bread with the applesauce. <laughs> um, um, yeah, but you like it plain, right? I do, yeah, I think I like it plain. Yeah. Like it's just so good. We'll tell you guys this. We tried it with both. We tried it with the icing and with the apple butter. It is better by itself. I think the icing for me was too sweet. Yeah. If you like sweet though, you'll love that. And then I like that the apple butter was kind of like a cool, it just kind of like cooled it down a little bit. It made it a little more refreshing. Yeah. I mean, it tastes a little bit lighter, which... It's definitely not light. No, it's not. <clears throat> like I said, I don't know if we're gonna be able to eat the whole thing. I'm very full right now. I love this. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'll have like one more bite. Oh, or, a fluffy know, donut. Like a cloud filled with delicious, deliciousness. It is good. Mm -hmm. Telling you guys, the spirit of Tennessee is in a rocking chair. There are just rocking chairs everywhere. The Professional Porch Sitters Union. That is amazing. We are in the original section of Dollywood, so everything looks like an old theme park. But we're getting ready to head into the newer section with all the big coasters. This is the Robert F. Thomas Chapel, and Robert F. Thomas is the doctor who delivered Dolly Parton. And they do have Sunday service here. What do you need in an old chapel in a theme park? three pianos. They just told us that Dollywood has the largest collection of non-releasable bald eagles in the United States. I just saw one over here. I see one right here. And they said that these eagles do mate and they do release the babies, but because these are either hurt or have something going on, they're just deemed non-releasable. So they're here. There's three within the shot right now. One right behind each other there and then one up front here. It's been probably around 20 years since I've been to Dollywood and this is the only thing that I remember. Blazing Fury. Going on Blazing Fury. Oh, Tim Tracker? There's a fireman right there coming down the fire pole. Heading in. It is dark in here so hopefully you guys will be able to see something. There's Grandma and Grandpa out on the porch. Uh-oh. Oh no. There's a fire. Oh no. There's a shootout around some of the dynamite. That's not good. The town hall is on fire. Week back. Oh no. Week back or not, Luther. Here I come. Here she comes, Luther. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's his water. Oh no, he was in the outhouse. What's happening? It's just darkness. Going up. Uh oh. Well, this isn't good. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. That was a drop. That was exciting, and it actually gave me a lot of airtime and cracked my back. We're heading into danger, it says. Oh no, we're heading right for a train. Oh! Oh! Well, that was fun and exciting. Oh, I feel like we almost didn't make it back up that hill. Oh no, here's another hole. Oh! Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh, okay. And we made it. Smoke everywhere. So we're heading into newer Dollywood. Starting to see roller coasters now. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're going backwards. The track switch just happened. And then Wild Eagle up there. Can't wait to get on that one. I've never been on a winged coaster. And this is one right here. It's just a sleeping vulture here. Oh no. He almost got woken up. Did he wake up? Did he wake up? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, uh, sorry, folks. Was I snoring? My wife says I snore too much, but I proved her wrong. I stayed up one night to see if I snored, and I never did. <laughs> First big coaster, Thunderhead, and this is a wooden coaster. 
Oh, I'm gonna get on it. So unfortunately, uh, because Jen is pregnant, you we can't you can't ride this. There's a lot of stuff I won't be able to ride today. Um, and we we like this trip happened before we knew, so it's kind of a bummer that I can't ride stuff, but we will be back. Yeah. So that I can ride everything. <laughs> but the good news is you'll be able to film me from the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna get some cool shots of you um, of him for you guys. So. Yeah. So Dollywood did not allow us to bring any cameras on the roller coasters, but they did provide us with some POVs to show you guys. However, this one doesn't have any audio. Some of the other ones have some strange cuts and are pretty shaky, but thank you to Dollywood for providing us with some POVs so we could show you guys what it's like on the roller coasters. What'd you good. think, yeah? So there were like these huge pads in the chairs. Pads? So, yeah, although it was very like bumpy because it's a wooden coaster, it wasn't so bad because there were pads everywhere. Nice. Yeah, it was very fun. Still cracked my back. Did it? Yeah. That's it's like a, a free chiropractor. Yeah. Here he goes. <laughs> he said he's spinning around. Well, that was fun and exciting. It looked cool from the ground. It was very fast. Yeah. I was not expecting the stop to happen so quickly. I was like, kind of had my hands up and then it stopped and I was like, ooh. <laughs> but it was still, it was very fun. So would you say that that's like as scary as Falcon's Fury? No. Because, do you, which one do you think goes faster? Though? That one goes faster. Does it? Yeah. Okay, it looked really fast. But because on Falcon's Fury, you're facing straight down, that one's scarier to me. Gotcha. But this one. They said it goes like 70. 77. Wow, oh, the drop is 77 miles an hour. That is a fast one. Yeah. Now we're heading into Mystery Mine. Ooh. It's attractive, but I keep photographs of her. Trigger of the horse, he was no less an American than George Washington. But nobody ever mounted. So I just got off of Mystery Mine. Wow. That's all that I can say about that. There was kind of a lot of like side to side motion with my head, but. There's pyrotechnics, there's there projections. What? There was like straight up lift hills, straight down drops. I didn't know, you didn't say any oh, of that. Oh man, it was awesome. It's it was the, so much fun. The parts that I could see looked really scary, yeah. especially the upside down part. That wasn't even the but, scariest part. Up next, Fire Chaser Express. And this is actually one that has a lower height limit on it, so it's more along the lines of a family coaster, but still pretty darn thrilling.
cow. That was so much fun. It looked really fun. There was fire again? I know, I saw it. I was literally like, there's so much fire. Yeah. And like, it was super long. It did seem long. Yeah. yeah. And we were going backwards. And it, it starts in the station and then you back back into the station. There's no track behind the station. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not like it pulled through the station. It just yeah. like shoots out and then comes back in. That's cool. Up next, Wild Eagle. I'm excited for this one because I've never been on a winged coaster before. That I remember at least. Wild Eagle was so much fun. Probably one of the smoothest roller coasters I've ever been on. And uh, I also almost passed out at the bottom of the second drop. I can't believe that. Which is fun. I've been on a lot of roller coasters and I don't normally almost pass out. I do have to preface that with saying I didn't sleep very well last night. So maybe that has something to do with it. No, it was just too many G's. Yeah, it was too many G's, man. <laughs> it was really good. It was super fun. That's a B&M. It's my first flying coaster. I'm so sad that I didn't get to ride it. Like, yeah. I think that that was one that I, I really am like bummed about. I think you would have been scared anything. of that one too. I think I would have been scared for sure, but we don't have anything like that where we live. No. So. Maybe we will one day. Gotta come back. Time for the Tennessee tornado. Apparently this one pulls a lot of G's. So if I almost passed out on that last one, Maybe I'll pass out on this one. got off of Tennessee Tornado. That is an old style of roller coaster. It was built in like 99. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's uh... It's crazy to think that 1999 was 20 years ago. Yeah. Wow. It was a lot of shaking, <laughs> a lot of upside downsies, a lot of G-forces. Super fun though. I, feel, I think the coaster enthusiasts are not gonna like the upsy downsy no. <laughs> terminology. The, the loop-de-loop? -loop. Yeah, now we're going to eat some barbecue. I'm so excited. And then lightning. Here's what we got for lunch. I got some barbecue pork fries. Yes. So it's like nachos, but with fries? Yeah. Like loaded fries? Oh yeah. Okay. It's pretty ridiculous. It looks pretty good. And then Jen got a barbecue pork sandwich. Yum. So is the barbecue sauce sweet here? I don't know. That's a good question. I didn't even ask. I just bought. How come some of these fries are really yellow? I don't know. Special, special, special Tennessee uh, potatoes. We call them Tennessee Taters. I think you're right. We're headed down to Lightning Rod right now, but we we're gonna pass through the blacksmith. Wow, that is frightening looking right there. A real working blacksmith shop. Make you all kinds of stuff. Oh, I thought it's a tracker. Oh. I was like, oh, it's a tracker. I read it wrong. Oh no. There's a pressed penny machine. Oh, this is, yeah, a pressed penny machine. I thought it was pressed quarters. I like this Dollywood one. Oh, we got the big koi in here. Oh Look at them. Those are monsters. They're like, please, my child. There it is, a water ride. Smoky Mountain River Rampage. They said you will definitely get wet on this one. Here it is, the last one. Time to go ride Lightning Rod. Just going through the main line. Got a lot of cool cars in here.
we came back up to get a shot of what it looks like going up the lift hill, or the launch hill, I guess. So that's only 45 miles an hour, but it gets up to 73. And so they said that it'll be 45 seconds before we see them again. Look at that. And then this brake run right here. Even though you're pregnant, we found a way for you to ride lightning rod. It's in the test seat. It's telling you you're good. Yeah. You did it. Whoa. Ah. Feel the wind in your hair. No. Oh man. That was so fun. Yeah, it was good, right? It was. It was amazing. Okay, I just got off of Lightning Rod. Holy cow. That is an amazing roller coaster. So much speed. So much non-stop action. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And then uh, it stops. It's just... <laughs> A very fast ride is 90 seconds, but yeah, if you can get out here to ride lightning rod, I highly suggest it. Now we're going on Rock and Roadway, a mild thrill attraction. Wow. We're doing it. We're driving. I have a button. To oh, Rock and Roadway. I think it starts talking to me. Seated and keep your hands and arms inside the car at all times. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know we were going to have like a radio. Yeah. Can I change the song? Oh, my, my thing's a horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't talk back. Drive better! No, I can't, You're I can't. being crazy! This is a, hey, how's it going? We're doing like a high speed thrill ride right now. It's a, a mild, it's mild, a mild thrill. thrill. We're gonna go to the theater, maybe get some eggs and apples. Oh yeah, I love that. Oh, no. oh dear. Sorry. I want some lemonade. Oh, they're honking too. There's a close up view of lightning rod. We're pulling back into the garage. Does it stop for us? Yeah, we don't have any pedals. Yeah. All we have is a steering wheel and a horn. What do you think of my driving skills? You did really good. <laughs> and I would say that that was a mild thrill. Yeah, it was mildly thrilled. It was so mild that I would call it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have anything to describe how mild that was. But it was fun. Yeah, it was like a mild salt. Oh yeah. Yeah. The train is coming by. And we are just in an area called the Back Porch. Waiting for the show. We got a long way to go and short time to get there. He's found down, loaded up and trucking. Now we're going to do what they say can be done. Oh, you better slow your Mustang now. There's just, just a guy playing banjo on the side of the road. We are on our way into the new section, Wildwood Grove. Now we're not allowed to ride anything because it's definitely not ready for any of that. But we are some of the first people to be able to peek behind the walls and see it. Before we head into Wildwood Grove though, we're back by the Spotlight Bakery because they have on display the 25 pound apple pie. Here's just some of it. I think you can buy a slice of it. Look at the size of that thing. This is huge. Like I don't even know if I can give you a perspective. Oh, you can see like a little tiny spatula over here. That's some perspective on it. Also, I misread the sign. Just the slice is $18.99. The whole pie is $189.99. And I think you get to keep the skillet. Just to put that into perspective, this is one slice right here. Wow. So we are headed into the construction entrance for Wildwood Grove. You can see their little flyer here. This is a Vacoma flyer. Vacoma hanging roller coaster. This is Wildwood Grove and this is the Wildwood tree. They're gonna have meet and greets with their own special characters. Got another little flat ride over here called Frogs and Fireflies. 
a little train-like ride here at Black Bear Trail. It's like you're riding on a bear like it's a bike. So I take it back, it's not like a train. I believe each little bear is individual. So it will move along the track on its own. So here's the roller coaster. It's called Dragon Flyer, and it does actually go underground for a little bit, and the geysers will go off when you go underground. The Great Tree Swing. So all this stuff is opening up on May 11th. And we are like right up on Mystery Mine too, so it'll be connected to the park very well. Treetop Tower over here. This is a spinning acorn type ride that goes up. Here's the restaurant. This is gonna be called Till and Harvest. It's gonna be like a Chipotle almost. Here at the entry portal, just next to Mystery Mine. And this is the harp tree, the first thing that you see, and Till and Harvest, the restaurant. And then you head into the rest of the land. Also, they just told us that this restaurant will not be open for opening. It will be open around Memorial Day. We're all done at Wildwood Grove and back in Dollywood. We're gonna go in and see if we can find any good merch. I want a nice Dolly shirt. Also, you got some more pressed pennies. I feel like it's gonna be silly for me to buy a bunch of t-shirts that I can't wear. Oh yeah. We've got about 10 minutes before dinner, so we're gonna go check out Dolly's Home on Wheels. This is her tour bus. I think we can go inside of it. Oh, here we go. You guys watch your step as you come in. <laughs> Judy, Don. I don't know who goes, but there's a there's a there's a telephone down there. Oh, each one has a telephone. Look, there's Dolly's toilet. Here's Dolly's little pink tub. If you guys look to the very back in the bedroom, uh, you'll see the photos sitting back there. Now, the two sets of photos to the left are both sets of Dolly's grandparents, and the one to the right is her parents. And if you guys lean in a little bit, you'll see one of her retired wigs in there. And oh, there yeah, was a reporter that asked one time uh, how long it took her to do her hair, and she said, well, I don't know. I'm never there when it gets done. <laughs> one so of Dolly's guitars is back here, too. Oh, I was wrong. There are two the toilets on the bus. Virginia this is Dolly's. Uh, Right across from her tub. It's a dolly sized uh, tub. So we found out this is Judy Oogle's bunk. This is a, one of Dolly's friends that traveled with her for a long time. Don Warden's bunk, who was her first manager. And then the last bunk down here was for the second bus driver, just in case, because Don drove the majority of the time. But if there needed to be somebody that drove longer than eight hours, like if Don drove for longer than eight hours, they would switch out with the second bus driver. So I was a little bit misinformed this was not dolly's first tour bus this was her tour bus from 94 through what do they say like 2004 2009 that 2009 retired. and then since then she bought a multi-million dollar tour bus that yeah. she still rides in <laughs> but this one was bought for 750,000 in 94 so and she had the entire outside redone custom and the entire entire inside redone custom for dinner we're eating at the front porch cafe here's what i got for food they kind of just brought us a lot of everything so i got this chicken with a mushroom sauce i got some mashed potatoes got some meatloaf got some green beans and they also have some mac and cheese in there too this is my favorite i haven't tried any of it yet and i know i love it this is all of jen's style <laughs> this is what i love well guys that's really it like we are leaving tomorrow to head back to Orlando I know it was a short trip to uh, Dollywood we will definitely be back we had a lot of fun in the park today all of those roller coasters super fun I did not dislike any of them at all had a great time I really enjoyed lightning rod that was so fast and furious and it was ridiculously fun I really 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 liked what's it called it's called the fire men's escape fire uh, fire engine express I think that's what it's called. That was amazing. I loved that ride. But yeah, thank you to Dollywood for having us out. Tomorrow, we're still trying to like, trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We have a couple of hours before our plane flight. We might go check out the cabins, the Dollywood cabins. I don't know, we'll figure that out tomorrow. Join us for that video. And with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. I'm JJ. And I'm Drew. And now it's time to pay the price.